Why I missioned him? <laughs> Gonna have fun like this. In the book Steps to Christ, there's a powerful statement that says that we should meditate upon the mission of him who came to save his people from their sins. An amazing statement that Jesus was sent on a mission from his father to this earth to save his people from their sins. That was his mission. And I believe he describes this mission further in John chapter 10, where he, verse 10, where he says that the enemy, the devil, he only comes to steal and to kill and to destroy our lives. That's all he wants. But Jesus says that I have come into this world on my mission to save my people from their sins, to give them the abundant life in Christ. That is why he came. And I'm so thankful that he did. He came on his mission to save me. I believe he's given me the abundant life in Christ and saved me from my sins. And I want others to experience the same. That is why I do mission work. When I gave my life back to God, I really wanted to work for Him. And you know, for many years, I was a backslidden, Laodicean, lukewarm Christian. And when I gave God my life, I gave Him my money, I sold my possessions, I rededicated my life to Him. And you know, I think that's how it is for me. When I gave everything to Him, God's love came in my heart and I just wanted to work for Him. So I spent a lot of time praying. I prayed, God, lead me, guide me, show me what to do. And He led me to do everything work. Another reason is, Jesus is coming back soon. I believe that with my whole heart. I just want to work for Him, pay back the amazing debt of love I owe Him, and do work for Him, saving souls for His kingdom. When we have God's love in our hearts, we love working for Him. We love saving souls and working for Him. Every true disciple is born into the kingdom of God as a missionary. And this is so true and so powerfully relevant for us today. If we become a true disciple of Jesus, then automatically our mission becomes the mission of Christ. Our mission has completely changed my life. In the eight years um, since God called me to give up everything, I have learned so much and have grown so much, have seen the joy of seeing people come to Jesus, have had the joy of sharing the good news. It's a work that not only saves others, but saves me. This morning I was reading in Steps to Christ chapter 13, and this totally encapsulates why mission. It says this, Happiness that is sought from selfish motives outside of the path of duty is ill-balanced, fitful, and transitory. It passes away, and the soul is filled with loneliness and sorrow. But there is joy and satisfaction in the service of God. The Christian is not left to walk in uncertain paths. He is not left to vain regrets and disappointments. Mission is the best, and um, I would do it again and again if I had to live my life over 10 million times. I have a job back in Mali, and I really love my job. It's really good but I don't feel that I'm doing enough for God in that work so this is why I love the canvassing programs because then I can just say goodbye to my work for a couple of weeks a couple of months and just go and do mission work and I can be on the doors working with people real-life situations meeting them where they are and trying to help them to see their need of God so it's just a privilege and a blessing to be in this field so I'm really passionate about it because I can work with God and for God in these end times when it's so crucial for us to be working for him so it's really exciting and i encourage other people to get involved in mission no matter what type of mission it is we need to be doing something for god because that's what god's called us to we can't be stagnant in god's church ellen white says that the greatest joy and the highest education is in service and whenever i read that quote i always picture us in heaven and we receive our crowns and we see the stars on those crowns that represent the people that we've helped bring to Christ. And then not only seeing them, but then seeing the crowds of people that those people have witnessed to themselves. And, and that just excites me. It's, it's something that I, I want to be a part of. I want to see. I don't want to miss out on the joy that Christ had while he was here on earth. Reading those statements where it says that he didn't count heaven a place to be desired while we were lost. 
So we can bring that to ourselves, we can look at ourselves and go, wow, Christ really wants me there to the point where he died for me. But then we can look at our neighbor and go, Christ really loves them to the point where he would die for them. And he doesn't count heaven to be a place to be desired while they're lost. How can I live my life to try and share with others how loving God is and how worthwhile a life with him is? And that's why I do mission work.